So if there is one thing that I am really bad at, it is using already made patterns. So I don't know how to get them to fit my body, I don't know anything like that. So I'm going to show you today how to make them, how to make patterns, you know, for cosplay or whatever clothes making purpose you have that fit your body perfectly. So here we go. You're probably looking at me right now wondering what the hell are you doing? Well, my friend, I am wrapping myself in cling film or cling wrap, whatever you call it, plastic wrap. Um, it varies from country to country. Uh, you can wrap body forms. Usually I will wrap a body form if I'm doing a female one, but my body form has boobs and I don't want this costume to have like extra space by the boobs. So I've put a binder on because I'm going to be wearing a binder on underneath the costume. And that's the important thing here because we're trying to get it as closely matched to what we're going to be having on underneath the actual costume as possible. So once you are officially wrapped up like some sort of sandwich that's going to go off, you're going to get your duct tape and you're going to start wrapping yourself in that. This is a lot harder to do when you're doing it on your own. This is my first time attempting doing all this on my own. Usually I do it on a body form as I said before. The goal here is to cover up all the sections that are wrapped in saran wrap that you're going to be putting the pattern on in duct tape and you will miss bits and just rip a little bit off and put it over the bits you've missed and it helps to have a mirror to the side which is what I do when you see me looking off to the side. Make sure you don't do it too tight because you will constrict your breathing. When it comes to doing your shoulders you can do them over like this. Um, Sometimes the saran wrap might have moved to the side and you might have to add some more. But doing it in smaller pieces like this is much easier and more manageable when it comes to putting them where you need them. The hardest, hardest, hardest part was doing the back because, I don't know if you've noticed, but I do not, my arms do not bend that way as do most people's. So just do the best you can. Um, be careful you don't get any stuck on your skin, but as long as your duct tape's cheap as shit like mine was, you should be fine. It shouldn't hurt too much. And, uh... Yeah, just get covered what you can until you reach a stage of, eh, that's good enough. Next we are going to be grabbing a pen. I'm just using a permanent marker because it shows up really easily and we're going to get our reference picture for what it is that we are planning on doing. And we're going to start by drawing a line central down the middle, essential as you can. When you are cutting, you'll be able to see if it's central or not and just fix it as you go. But mine is going to be split up into different parts. So the bit I'm doing right now is the neck piece. So that bit's going to be cut out completely. Just remember to leave room for the straps. I have also got this divided up into three sections of different fabrics. So I'm going to draw one down just under my armpit so I know where I'm going to be cutting that off from again with the central line it's just sort of a guideline draw along the bottom of where you want it to end and these here are what I call guiders so that I can line them up with the next bit of fabric once I cut them out to make sure everything stays in its place so my t-shirt design has this kind of diamond cut out pattern that's going to be in one fabric and then like a shoulder bit uh, where the straps are that's going to be in another fabric so I'm drawing those on now so I know what is what and a little bit under the arm of where I'm gonna give my arm extra breathing room I guess you'd call it. Uh, the back doesn't matter too much because you can do that when you have cut out the pattern but I tend to just do a rough guideline so that I know what I'm working with basically. Once you are relatively happy, we are going to cut out and we're going to cut out on the side that I didn't wrap up because it's cutting it on my own so it's going to be very messy. Make sure you go slowly, don't hurt yourself, this clip is sped up and also make sure if you've got anything on underneath you are going over the top of that so you don't cut through your binder or whatever. Um, I cut quite messily here because as I said I was doing it on my own so it wasn't a smooth cut which means I probably can't save this other half for another time. Once you have wormed your way out of it, there you go, you have it, your pattern, and you can put some extra tape on the back to cover up the places that you've missed when you were doing it before, which isn't too important, but you know, it's it's so you've got a more solid, stronger pattern, basically, and you don't need to worry. Just make sure you stretch it out a little bit as you stick the tape down so that it doesn't change the shape of the overall pattern. Flipping the design back over to the front, I'm now going to organise what I want everywhere to be and line it up so you can see that the line I did under my armpit is not central so I'm going to be cutting that central 
I'm also currently just ripping off a bit of cling film to put over the sticky bits that I've missed and we're gonna cut along that gap there. Just ignore my line that I did and go for the one that's more accurate which is where it folds automatically. So I cut the strap so we have two separate pieces and I'm going to do a line down the middle at the back as well and mark them back and front so I know which pieces are which. This is where the guidelines come into play and you can see where they're meant to be going if that makes any sense. I'm really bad at explaining this but that is where the pieces line up so you know when it comes to the pattern and you can get everything matching as the original pattern. God, I'm so bad at explaining this, I'm so sorry. So once you've cut up the central, the other side you didn't draw any pattern on. You can either, if you cut it neatly, you can use it for another project or you can just bin it. But there we go, that is the rough pattern, just as it is. But because I am doing it in multi-fabrics, I'm going to be having um, gold fabric for the main shirt. I'm also going to be using this uh, netting fabric for the triangle bits, the diamonds, and then this scale fabric for going along the top. So I need to cut those up in separate bits so that I know which is which. You Obviously if you're doing a shirt that's all the same colour you won't need to do this at all. More guidelines so I can make sure everything lines up properly as I go. I will also be translating these into my pattern. To translate into my pattern, within the seam allowance I will do little triangle clips that I will snip out. You will have sew over these but they're there so that you can line them all up nicely. Don't forget to label the pieces as you go because you will probably forget that is, it's just something that people do, you, you do forget as you're going so once everything's trimmed up nicely make sure you label it as you go. The other half I'm just going to throw away because I do not need... Um, it seems like a waste, but if you're doing this on your own, you have to make sacrifices because you can't cut neatly on your own. I'm not going to be showing you how I make the full thing, but I will be giving you a rough demonstration of how to transfer this to your fabric. The line that was the central line for the back and the central line for the front as well will be going along a fold. That way, when you cut it and you open it up, it will be perfectly symmetrical. I highly recommend pinning but I am lazy and this fabric is shiny and won't transfer through so I'm going to draw around them with a big seam allowance. This allows me the ability to have it so it's not ridiculously tight fitting but if I wanted to as I go I can sew tighter um, and further in which will then make it more fitting to my body because if it's too tight you've got to remember how are you going to get in and out of it. You need to keep that in mind like maybe a zipper down the back or if it's got a big neck hole just don't do it too tight so you can't get it over your shoulders you have to remember this pattern is cut perfectly to your body so give some allowance many hours later this is my finished product i decided to add some extra things like fluff and some leather detailing as i went but i just sort of glued them on and yeah as you can see it's quite tight fitted i am currently not wearing the binder that i'm going to be wearing with it because i'm going to be open chest binding but yes i'm very proud of it and as you can see it worked wonders so good luck with your future projects and i hope that this video helped you please like comment and subscribe love you guys bye